Hi, so this is a new series of videos about my progress to learning about the Blender Python API that I hope works for your process too. Day 1. So the first thing I did was enable Developer Extra and Python tooltips. Thanks to the Developer Extra now I have a new option in the edit menu of the top bar called Operator Search and the Python tooltips help me to see under the tooltips the Python code. So as an example if I want to add a new cube to code then I just have to go to the scripting tab, check the code to construct a cube and write it in the console. Another interesting thing is that when you enable the Developer Extra you get the link to the online Python reference of every button and in order to make everything faster you can just copy the script you want to use. I learned to use the text editor by creating a simple script that adds an icosphere and a cone. I just had to import the BPY module and run it. So I access the data with the BPY data module. So if I ask for how many objects do I have, it'll tell me that 4 because there are 4 objects including the light and the camera. But if I erase one, then it'll tell me so. It can also give us the context like the names of the existing objects or the name of a specific object by its index. And if I want to access the attributes, I can do it. So if I need to add a new material, I just need to write the script with the name of the material to add. There are a lot of other attributes that I'll use later. Day 2. Today I learned that I can create data by calling the class, as usual. The way to access it is through the BPY data, so Blender can always know how to handle that information. Then I tried to understand the way to assign a property, but I didn't get it. I realized then that I needed to reinforce my Python knowledge. Day 3. So normally we're going to need our program to work with what we're actually doing, and for that purpose we can use the BPY context. So if you have a camera and a cube selected, in example, you can use that information. And you can also use the autocomplete option to play with several other possible examples. So if we want to do something depending on the workspace we are, it'll be dot workspace. Or if we want to create a tool that only works in the edit mode, then we can use dot mode. Day 4. Today I learned the use of the operators. These are the tools that we normally click. One example of an operator will be when we apply the transforms in an object. This can be done through code, alike in the usual way. Day 5. So I learned to integrate Python with Blender and define an operator. I copied the script from the Blender documentation and then activated the system console to check the object's names printed. Then I went to operator search and checked that the operator doesn't exist yet. Run the script and check again. Now the operator exists. And we can find it under the object menu. What it does is to print the names of all the objects in the system console. We can also create a panel, like with this other code that I copied from the documentation. As you see the name of the panel will be hello world panel. We'll find it in the properties window and the objects properties tab. And what it'll do is that it will create a new cube. So this is what I learned in the first 5 days. I'll show you my progress next week. Thanks for watching.